Christmasmas 2023 has arrived. Yes, it is finally that time of year where we get to spread some festive cheer around the TF2 community. A few days ago, this Christmas update dropped. We got a bunch of new maps, we got some new taunts, we got a new cosmetic case. So in this video, we're going to take a look at all of that. But we're going to start off with the new taunts. Yes, the first taunt we're going to be looking at is the Cheers taunt made by these wonderful people here. So yeah, let's just give it a look. It looks like each Merc has their own different drink to stay thematic, which I do enjoy. But yeah, let's just give it a watch and see what it's about. Gentlemen! Nice. They just won. And they're celebrating with a, a lovely beverage. Very nice. Sweet. Ah. God bless America. Yeah, I like this, you know, Scout with his plastic cup, Soldier with his uh, canteen, Pyro with a little jerry can looking thing. Yeah, I like it. Can't really fault it. Stays thematic. Gentlemen, Decent talk. Well. Okay, this one is the Morning Mercs. Let's, uh, let's give it a look. Ah, very sweet, very nice. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is actually quite good. <laughs> Not bad. I hang it behind this, I think. It's very different to the, you know, the the Staffenfreude, so... I think it's probably needed in TF2, to be fair, so... I have, I have no qualms with this at all. Yeah, it's some good animation, man. It's looking good. They got a bit less dramatic as time went on, but I like them. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll go for it, I'm not sure. None of these taunts have really spoken to me yet. And finally, we have Foul Play. Now, I'm a bit of a football fan myself, so this one could be a banger. It's to bore me how much you suck. Yeah, get him off. Get him off, ref. What's the matter, you freaking stupid? Actually perfect for two fort friendlies. I, I rate that. <laughs> Hit the bricks, pal, you're done. Nah, that's good. I like that. Yeah, good taunt. Very simple. I think it's my favourite of the bunch, to be honest. Um, I like it. That's all I can say. I like it. They're not a bad set of taunts, to be honest. None of them really spoke to me, though, so... Not sure if I'll pick any up, maybe the red card one. But we're going to take a quick look at the Winter 2023 cosmetic case. I'm going to give a few words for each cosmetic. And then we'll take a look at the real meat and potatoes of the update, which is, of course, the maps. So yeah, we're going to start off with the bigger man on campus. Not bad, not really for me, to be honest, but it's all right. Decent heavy cosmetic, but I can't see where I'd use it personally. Very solid looking pyro cosmetic, but again... Not sure where I could use this. Maybe my MVM loadout. The Rugged Rags is a very nice looking sniper coat though. But again, it just comes to the point of where could I use this? Ooh, the Covert covers look good. Not too sure which class this is for. Maybe Medic, perhaps? Maybe Spy? But either way, I like it. The Sleuth Suit, also a very nice cosmetic. Big fan of that. The Nightcap, not really for me, to be honest. The Puffed Practitioner, though, is a very nice. Reminds me of that um, image of the Pope in that Puffer jacket. I'm a big fan of this. Would definitely be hoping to pick that up. Just a bit too edgy for me, really. So just a bloody Santa. Not really a, a vibe I fuck with, to be honest. Just not really for me. Puffer jacket for the Scout. I, I like it, to be fair. I think it's his best Puffer cosmetic. Only has a few. But yeah, I'm a fan of this. This is a very nice looking power cosmetic. Obviously goes with the Pickled Harb. And yeah, I'm a fan. Just a little checkered suit for the Spy. Again, very solid. I quite like it it's, it's a solid looking cosmetic I'm just not really vibing with the whole pajama themed loadout very funky fresh especially with those sunglasses and that mustache i like this for the soldier a very solid looking soldier cosmetic pajama cosmetic not really for me looks okay i guess not really a pink cosmetic though really i do believe we have a cosmetic that's a lot like this already but yeah solid very, very cool actually i do like this the goggles uh, the 
the bobble hat is uh, maybe a bit too far for me but decent this gas mask is very cool i think it's actually a very cool sniper cosmetic gives him a nice rugged look i'm a fan just not really for me to be honest again i think the main issue of these tf2 cases is not the cosmetics themselves but just the grading they've been given like is the scruffed and stitched and the borders beanie really the top tier items in this case i don't really think so but hey it gives us more opportunity to unbox those cooler cosmetics i guess so we will take that but i think my favorite from the whole set has got to be the puffed practitioner that is very cool but it is followed up closely by the torches trench coat so both those cosmetics probably my favorite but all in all a very strong cosmetic drop i think some very nice cosmetics in there Okay lads, so we're going to take a look at the new Smithmas 2023 maps. We've got Brew, Carrier, Galeria, Hacksaw, Snow Tower, Camber, Emerge, Harp, Krampus and Turbine Center. I'm generally very excited to see what the TF team have chosen for this game. I was going to see what they've cooked up, but we both know that they don't work on TF2 anymore. So <laughs> yeah, we're just going to take a look at uh, all these maps and see which ones are cooking because... I imagine it'd be quite a few. So let's go. I don't think this is a Christmas map, guys. Somebody's telling me this isn't this isn't a Christmas map. Okay, and our first map of the new update is Camber. And immediately I'm just getting upward vibes from it. Which is a good thing because upward is a very solid map. And already there's also a hacker in this game. We'll take the mantle of Pyro, I think, you know. I'm a pyromane, it's what I deserve. I've missed the first point, but that's okay. We've just got to go and see what's cooking. Not the hacker pyro, spy. That's not a pyro. <laughs> I killed a hacker, boys, we're cooking. I don't know where the fucking... Oh my god. Get him off, yes. I didn't get him off. I thought that was... Well, I got killed by a sniper bot. I thought that I, th when I air blast that man, I'd push him off the map, but clearly I was mistaken. There was no ledge of death there, which is why I committed so hard to that kill. Just jumping in in post here, while I was watching about the footage, I noticed I did push him off and he did die, so I think I'm just an idiot, really. But back to the maps. <laughs> Honestly, not my finest move, I can't lie. I need to go see what's over there. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. How did... How did you get there? <laughs> how did he manage that? <laughs> what the fuck has gone on here? Where's that teleporter? I need to go join in. Yeah, this is one. How have we managed this? What a what a brilliant video game. Let's be real guys, what a what a what a phenomenal video game. Oh this is good stuff man. Good stuff. How have I not killed this man? Oh my god. There we go. Finally, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Fucking hell. <laughs> what a slog that was. Jesus. I do like what I'm seeing though. The map does look nice. I like the vibes. I feel like it's more of a, you know, like a, a deluxe upward in a way. <laughs> I like what I'm seeing, man. The map looks nice. I'm a fan. It plays... Oh, my God. <laughs> Seems like there's a lot of spots you can trap people in. But I'm, li I'm liking the environment the map is set in. Very nice. It was good. The <laughs> heavy is trapped now. <laughs> yeah, other than the, you know, trap spots, I guess you could call them. Map's good. Well, their medic's gone. Fucking hell. That was very unfair. I can't lie. That was... I'm <laughs> Sorry. I just want to explore what's up here, guys. God damn, chill out. Fucking hell. All in all, though, Herobrine has drip. And I like the map. Nice one, Herobrine. 
Absolutely phenomenal scenes. Go on, oh. What's down here, though? Ah, nice. I'm a big fan of this part of the map. This is my favourite part. This is where I spent most of my time, I think. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Actually, I don't care that I random critted that fucking medic, because he just did that, which is absolutely criminal. So, yeah, fuck that medic, man. We just got to hold him off for, like, less than a minute, boys. We can do this, right? We can do this, boys. But really, no, that... Ubering that flog pyro was the move, unfortunately. We just crumbled after that. There's no passion. There's no aggression. But from what parts of the map I have seen, very solid. I'm going to give it a B. I think it's a B tier map, um, just from my experience. Yeah, that was Camber. B tier. Galeria. Galeria. To Fort Galeria. Add words. <laughs> Cool looking image though, a little, little bit of an advertisement, good vibes, looks a lot like the original TFT art style, some JC Lane and Decker vibes, so we love that. I don't know what I'm seeing though, this looks very cool, very cozy, there's a cat, automatically that's an A tier map. I like what I'm seeing though, this is like a, a gift shop, I, I do like it. Oh my god. Right, I was just trying to admire the map, why you gotta run up on me like that? What movies of Weekend Heavies, Faulty Siphon, Golden Plan, and Saws? Good, good choices. Let's see, yeah, I'd, I'd go and see Saws. I think. Oh, look at these posters, man! They look so good. Oh my god, amazing! Okay, I'm really liking the vibes of this map already. Okay, mate. All right, pal. Okay, if you don't want to fight, we don't have to fight. That's fine by me. Oh my god, the Zamboni! Jesus Christ! Saxon Hale, oh my god. No, oh, the vibes of this map are just immaculate. Oh, look, look at this stuff. $250 for a flog, that seems like good value. Got some like a menacing mannequin there. The cat, really selling it to me to be honest. No dioramas, oh my god. Oh my god, this game is so good. I love what I'm seeing. Oh wow. Well. And I think the announcer just adds to the... I love that table. I want one of those tables in real life. No, I think the uh, narrator really adds to this map. Oh, wow. That's... Wow. Honestly, just a very cool looking map in general. I love those tables that are... The, that, and the fern... I just love this, the, the vibes of this map I'm seeing, you know. The suits look cool, though. I'm a huge fan of this map. Love the vibes. Love the... Just love it, man. <laughs> just look at all the, like... Advertisement stuff like your jungle inferno, you've got the movie posters. Like it's all very cool. I'm normally not a fan of this type of game mode, but I just I think this map's sick. Did we win? So extremely cool map. It's gotta be S tier. S tier hundred percent phenomenal map. Huge fan. Not really a fan of the game mode itself, but the map, how it looks. I just yeah, S tier hundred percent. Oh, 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 I love some turbine and this looks very nice. I just need to talk about my love for turbine and oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh wow. Now this is very cozy. I'm sorry, right? And these mid-century furniture is fucking phenomenal, right? Hello, mate. I was just admiring the furniture. Yeah, that table, very cool. But no, this looks sick. I, even with all the Christmassy... Like, this map is fucking beautiful! I'm a sucker for the mid-century design. I think that's what it is mostly, but it does look beautiful. What's this guy doing up here? God, whoa, man! I just, I just wanted to see this fella. I didn't, I, didn't want the, I didn't want the intel. I just wanted to see him. Look at that. Look at that! It's such a good looking map. What a cry, guys. It looks so good. I'm off that mid century malarkey, you know? And this fills that niche. These tables are so cool. I love these tables. I wish I could own one of those tables. Yo, if anyone's trying to buy me a present, buy me a mid century coffee table, bro. I'll, I'll go crazy. Have I added extra bits to this map as well? It's amazing. It's an upgraded turbine, is what it is. I love it. And the train as well. The train's, yeah. Just the little cherry on top, really. Oh my god. Nah, this map looks beautiful though. Like, I know I've said that a lot, but it genuinely looks amazing. Hold on. 
We just appreciate how nice this looks, though. Like, it's honestly amazing. I'm a huge fan. It activates those little, uh, little monkey neurons in my brain that just makes me love this map. It's got everything I love about this sort of this sort of design and just shoved it into a map. This and the last one as well, Galeria, whatever it was called. Both amazing. But I think as with most turbine maps, it's not going to end. Which is a good thing, because look, look at this corridor, man. This looks fucking beautiful. Trans rights, let's go. I knew that was involved in one of these maps somewhere. I just didn't know which map it was. Nice. We're there, boys. We made it. Nice. Like what I'm seeing now. Cows and egg chairs. Very cool. It's got spikes on the train, so it could fuck me up. Let me on. Yeah. Let me on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, bro got slumped. Oh, I fucking crit. The bot deserved the crit. Fortunately, we didn't win, but the map is absolutely beautiful. Honestly, on par with Galeria and how it looks, and just the, the vibes of the map are just. Mwah, they're just chef's kiss, really. Quite the fan of what I've seen. I can't lie. You know, a tier, I think. Give it an A tier. Axel! Now, from the little images we see, this is looking. Quite nice, I especially like the bottom picture there, very aesthetic. I'm off a payload race, it's one of my, uh, I guess, guilty pleasures. Team Fortress 2 is not really a guilty pleasure per se, but it's just something I enjoy. And I think it's the perfect time to wear the funny saw blade cosmetic, you know? Oh, okay, well. Oh. Yeah, we might have to leave Hacksaw for uh, another time. Hacksaw, round two. Hopefully it's better. Already, nice. Snowy vibes, all for that in winter. Get off! Didn't work. Didn't work, guys. Hey, 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 hey. I've played this map before. This is the... Is this a winter version of that Halloween one? I thought the little carts looked familiar for some reason. It's that bloody... Oh, what was it called? It's a very cool looking Halloween map and all. I can't remember what it was called though. Um, or whatever it is. It's the wintry version of that Halloween map. Which I thought was cool and a bot has uh, joined the game. Right. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. I was just admiring the view, Jeff. What are you fucking doing, lad? Just let me enjoy the view, crying out loud. I'm here to review the maps, Jeff. <laughs> I hope whoever... I hope, Ve I hope Sven Koop enjoys... That's my team at. Why are we not defending the uh, final point? Why are we just letting them cap? What's going on, boys? Seriously, what's going on? No, don't drill into the console! Is that some chocolate milk? Eggnog, perhaps? What the fuck? Oh my god. Let me go. Let me, no. No. Oh my god. That was terrifying. Jeff at it again, just ruining my day. Oh my god. Oh no. 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 Stop them. Stop them. Please. Stop them. No, they're hacking! No! Oh, never mind. No, guys, they're hacking! Don't let them hack! No! No! No, stop them! Someone stop them, please! Stop! Stop them! Okay, nice. Come on, boys, we can hack! Let's get hacking, boys! Come on! This is not, not going well for me. Ah, oh, rip. We start hacking, though. It was going well. We were doing, we were, we were looking good, you know, we started hacking. That's what I'm about. That's a cold unusual, to be fair. 
Uh, Blaze man, kind of be mad that he killed me because that unusual. Jeez. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Yes! That was all me. Fucking have that, lads. I did that. I pushed that. And that was Hacksaw. Very cool. A festive version of a Halloween map. And to be honest, quite enjoyable. The C tier, though. We've seen the map before. But the carts look cool. But that end point is annoying as fuck, so. C tier. There's one thing about me, it's I love a brew. <laughs> So here we are, we're going to brew. Pictures look promising, I'm not sure what the little demon fella is, but we'll move and bots again. Brilliant. Alright, Watergate and then New Giza. It's looking good. Ooh. Oh, this looks lovely. Okay, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing, I'm not going to lie. I this is some very impressive map architecture. Let's let's not be around the bush here. Let's not take the piss. This this looks good. So we're like defending the brewery, I guess. Go on. Oh, I fucking murdered three people there. That was fucking phenomenal. Let's go, boys. Number one beer employee. Number one beer man. You know, looks very nice though. The inside of the brewery is lovely. As is the outside. Oh, never mind. Can't go out the door anymore. Gives me powerhouse vibes. I won't lie. Maybe that's intentional. Maybe it's not. Um, the architecture is very cool, though. Looks very much real. Like this could be a real building. I don't care, bro. The medic had to die. I don't care if I died afterwards. That medic had to go. And this is the almost the full new pyro set. And I must say, that coat does look good. This is a very cool unusual effect though that this um, engineer fella's got. I like it. And this guy is just spitting facts as well. Bigger bottle. <laughs> nice. Bigger bottle costs more, of course. It also has less. What is it? I don't know. No man, like, these are bring. Why do we call them vats? I don't know. They look fucking sick. Like, honestly, this map looks beautiful. I should probably fix that leaking pipe. But other than that, I'm liking what I'm seeing. It looks like it could be a real brewery, but I'm I'm genuinely think it's a beautiful looking map, and that's a lot of these new TF2 maps. You know, despite being seasonal, they do look beautiful. So they're really pushing what TF2 maps can look like, and I'm here for it, man. Because if we get maps that look like this, I'm about it. You know, I'm about it. Look at that map. How good does that look? It's great. In case you were wondering, it's definitely above and mid-tier map. It's up there. It's gotta be up there. Just on aesthetic and vibes alone, it looks beautiful. Nice. Yeah. I think B-tier. I think it's a B-tier map. It looks wonderful. Very fun. Very vertical. A lot of areas to to explore. And scouts to murder on the final, final moment. I like it. Yeah. B-tier for sure. Brew gets B. Carrier, and I'm seeing an MVM robot here, so already my interest is peaked. I'm here for it, whatever it is. I'm here. It's set in Germany, I'm guessing, you know, Rottenburg. And already, things are looking good. Some Australian, Poopy Joe delivered, nice. Not sure what's going on here, but I'm here for it. A lovely evil layer. I guess. Like in a mountain, I'm going to assume. Don't know how good, how warm that'll be, as there's a bunch of snow everywhere and open doors, but you never know, it could be, could be a belter. What's this robot doing, dog? What the fuck? What the hell? Ah, I see, yeah. You can turn to the robot. It's like that one Halloween map where you could turn to a giant, I believe. So what, do you like stand here or something? I'd I don't understand if you stand here or if this is what they're trying to get to. I really don't know. 
The mountain looks very nice in the background. Oh, hello. That's unfortunate. I'm stuck here. I got stuck in the the wrong side of town. Really not epic. Really not sure my feelings on this map because, yeah, it looks all right, but I'm just not really vibing with it. I think it's cool that like you can become a robot. I'm not sure if that's just something the attacking team get. I imagine it would be. Um, that's a cool feature. I do do think it's cool when maps do that. Right. Oh, I understand what they're trying to do, right? They're trying to put the bomb in the in the in, in the hatch, which we're trying to stop. But it's really hard when they've got a medic healing the giant robot, and the giant robot has a lot of health. That's a banana peel on that. Nice. I think we lost, boys. Never mind. Oh god, I fell into the hole. <laughs> oh, I defended so hard, I just f thought I was the bomb. Oops. No, this map hasn't really captivated me. The other maps I've seen today have. I, uh, I'm not sure. You know has a unique gimmick to the map where you can turn to a big robot that's cool i will admit that is cool but like i'm not really enjoying the map i meant to not fall in the hole this time we've somehow pushed the robot back i don't know how we managed that robot down i honestly thought the game was going to be over then you know they started opening the hatch see it looks like this robot is breaking into a giant compound and trying to blow it up or something i don't know on this sleepy German town of all places. What? Who would have guessed? But now this map looks cool, man. I'm a fan of the vibe. Not so much the map itself, but I think it looks cool. But that's the only real thing it's got going for it, in my eyes at least. I want to try something here. Okay. Don't know how much damage I did. Can't really see. Um. Hey man, hey man, I have still got it. I should, uh, I should have, a, I should have made your affliction there to play sniper for some reason. Don't know why. It was, it was cool. We got a headshot. Oh my god, vaccinator on the giant red robot, really? Really? Nice. Nice. We killed the big robot. Solid. We did what he set out to accomplish. Fucking have that! <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting map. I'm just not, not the biggest fan of it, I must say. Didn't really fill me with a lot of confidence. I mean, this part's cool, with all like the robot parts and like, the map and stuff. And like, this is where you become the epic big robot, I guess. But um, yeah, other than that, it's okay. Like, there's not really much I can say. It was just, it's okay. I had the idea behind it, you know, like a big robot attacking an ammo factory. Um, guess I'm the robot, boys. <laughs> I mean, I can't really do much. Hey, this is cool. I'm a big robot. How about that, eh? Well, I'll turn out for the books. I'm a cool robot boy. That's what I'm about. It's my whole vibe. Where's my vaccinator medic? I got fucking telefragged. What the hell? That's fucking insane. I don't know what happened there. But, um... That was cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this map's... Hmm, it's getting a bit C tier, I think. Like, yeah, it's fun. And the the gimmick of becoming a big robot is also enjoyable. But all in all, it's not really that good of a map, if I'm being real. Um, and I think I'll probably get bored fairly quickly. So yeah, uh, C tier. Uh, enjoyable gimmick. We've also seen it at Halloween, and that was also pretty fun. So it's not the worst thing in the world, really. Didn't expect it in this update, to be honest. But yeah, C tier map for sure. Harp. High frequency active rural red project. Also, like a weather drone that controls the weather or whatever. Um, that's neither here nor there.
I don't play much scouts, so um, you're probably going to see some very bad gameplay. This is very dark and dank. I said office. I don't know what's going on here? This um, this doohickey looks very cool, and so does the monitor. Hello, guys, and welcome to the latest of the Drag Tree video. What a funny guy. I'm not sure where I'm going, what the entire point of this game mode is, but here we are. We're outside. It looks barren. But it doesn't look bad. It's a nice environment. Very cool big ass window that's shattered. Gonna cost a lot of auto glass to replace that, I'll tell you what. And another cool looking doohickey. Nice. Maybe not a good idea to have such a big glass facade next to a helicopter landing pad. Just me though. I don't get what the I don't get what the objective is of this game. I can't lie. I don't know what. Well, I know we're defending, but what are we defending? Like what's what's going on? What so right? They, so they've got the first point. Are these the, I guess these little rooms are the capture points. I guess I don't really know. <laughs> wow. I don't even know why we failed. Why did we fail? What the fuck is that? What the hell? Now this is this is more like it. This is more me. How about this, you know? Don't know why they didn't put the turbine next to the thing, but uh, okay. I like this. This is better than the first point, I reckon. I'm just a big fan of this doohickey, man. Imagine this is your office. Phenomenal stuff. I like it. I like the I like the vibes actually. The vibes have become very nice. Look, this is on a little platter and everything. It's on that little, you know, the little table you get on a pizza when you're like a takeaway pizza. It's on one of them. This guy's running the triple monitor setup. Bro's fucking living the life. It's literally me. I've not used the Huntsman in a while, so this could get very hairy very quickly. Why am I rocking the SMG? What an interesting tactic from me. It's an interesting map. I'm, I'm a fan of the vibes. Don't really know what's going on. I think, you know, the whole shtick is they're delivering a, a, th a dead thingy. They're delivering a thingy. Delivering a thingy to a point, which is an interesting take. But, like, they just capture the first point way too quickly and then it becomes a stalemate. But hey, this guy looks pretty cool. He's even got a cigarette themed tie. That's fucking. That's class. Yeah, how did they win there? What happened? I swear we. I saw we slumped them before they got to the point, so I don't know. I don't know what the gist of this game mode is, but um, the maps look cool, so there's that. And this is the final point. These very sleek looking servers, actually. Yeah, shoot them, Mr. Cigarette Tie Man. Ooh, okay. This is looking funky fresh. Got the administrator's office right up there. Yeah, man, this, is, this shit looks cool. Now, the map does look cool. Like, the spy tech vibes go hard. All in all, very good architecture. Whoever the architect was that designed this map, props to you. Because you cooked, and yeah, just, it just looks very, very cool. But there's a whole other area just out there that we have to defend soon as well. Interesting. Anyway, bit cold out there. Let's go back inside. There's so many bots. That, like, this this update, man, that's crazy. I've never seen them this bad in a in a long time. Whoa! Whoa, my God! This is sick. Yep, spy tech goes hard, unequivocally. What a shot we lost. I don't know how the defenders are supposed to win this game. But the maps look nice. It's an interesting new take on a game mode. So I'm going to give it D tier. Because I like the vibe. But it's, it's very hard as a defender. But other than that, I like it. B tier, very solid. It's Krampus time, boys. <laughs>
alright. Very decent. It's a new take. Something I did not expect to see from a Smithmas update. I'm not complaining. I enjoy it. It's a very cool looking statue as well of the mayor, I believe it was. The mayor. How oh, the fuck is not dead yet? What the fuck? How is he still alive? Oh my god. Kramps ah. is back. Oh, yep. Yeah. I didn't really do much to me. Fucking have that. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Oh good god. Oh good god. Please Krampus, I've not been naughty. Ouchies. I can fucking laid out by a man with a big ass stick. It's not looking good for me. Oh my good god. Medic! Thank you. I wanna go in the Krampus hole. Okay. Oh, that's hello. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die here. Fair enough. I deserve that. I just wanted to see what the Krampus gaff was like. Very dark and sad, so I imagine. So I know why he doesn't want to go back there because that's just depressing, really. All in all, it was actually quite a fun map. I enjoyed it. the The Krampus aspect of it, its namesake, so to speak, is a very fun part of the map, and the little Krampus dimension i guess you call it was a very nice touch so all in all it's very fresh for christmas the map itself looks quite nice and yeah i think generally quite a positive experience i'm gonna give it a tier i think i definitely think it's up there of uh, the maps we've received this year a tier smithmas map and you know the custom voice acting just you know really adds adds to that which is nice Fucking hell, I got fucking launched. But yeah, A tier, I like it. And we find ourselves on the way to Snow Tower, a penultimate map. Of this update, and it looks to be a winter version of High Tower. Now, I'm gonna be real, not the biggest fan of High Tower, I will admit. But I don't mind the reskin of it. It's got a King of the Hill aspect, which I really did not recognise until just now and the game's over we're fucking here boys we're on snow tower it's a cough map <laughs> made out of high tower which is a very interesting move but hey they've fiddled it around a bit and to be honest it it fits i really fits it's one of the crazier ideas i've seen but um never mind i mean what can i really say about this probably just high tower but snowy with an aurora borealis and some king of the hill thrown in like it's it's, so, it's solid it, it is solid because it's the high tower is the base but like i don't know i mean the aurora borealis is nice the skybox is lovely actually it's interesting i need to get, I need to get in a full game pretty much no they're capping the point guys don't let them do it don't let them cap please guys we can't let them cap I killed someone, I don't know who or how. Medic, please. <sighs> Medic, you had one job. Ramses Gaming, you had one job. What the fuck? Excuse me, mate. I've just random crit two very poor souls. I, I can only apologise for what I've done, really. It wasn't cool of me. I want to know how the sniper missed that dude who was standing still. That's what I want to know. You should be embarrassed. Come on. Yes! Let's fucking go! Uh, that was all me. I led that assault. I capped the point. Big dubs all round, I think. I think this is the only time it's acceptable to play the uh, objective on High Tower, right? Oh, I died. Not epic, but.
but like I was saying, yeah, it's not really socially acceptable to be playing the objective when you're playing high tower. But I think on snow tower, I think the objective is acceptable, personally. Ah! Okay, I did not expect that power to be inside there. That was a jump scare, but I took care of it. You know, just have a guy I am. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's just scrub that dirt off the point. Come on. Fucking phenomenal. Let's go. What a dub on Snow Tower. I mean, it's Snow Tower, you know. We know High Tower is a solid map anyway. It changes it up a bit by making a Koth map, which is a very interesting take on High Tower, which I want to actually approve of. But it is just High Tower, pretty much. If anything, you're given less incentive to explore the other areas of the map aside from that middle tower. I'm going to give it C tier. Skybox is nice, but overall it's a C tier map. And finally, Emerge. Have I saved the best for last? I don't know if it can top Galeria and Turbine Center personally, but I'm more than happy to be proven wrong as we take on this payload map, which looks very interesting. I will admit, first impressions are the thinking emoji, really. It's not looking too shabby, really. We'll see. It's pretty decent at the moment. Oi, oi, oi. Get off. Hey, man, I've been here, what, 10 seconds? Already helped me cap the point. Just the type of team player I am, you know? Just you know the type of vibe I bring to the team. Surprised that's not automatic roll ball, rollback point, to be honest. It looks like it should be, but hey man, I'll take it. Sorry, soldier. I mean, I'll take it, you know. It's a very uh, nice way to introduce yourself to a map by getting a dub. Yeah, all in all, just a just a pay just a payload map, really, isn't it? <laughs> no, this this site. I don't know. This I I I don't have anything to say about this map. Like it's it's nice. It's okay, but like. It's, it's just a payload map, really. I don't know. Don't know what else to say. I think, down to personal preferences, I'm going to have to give this a D tier. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad map, because I don't think it is. But just compared to the maps we've seen in this update, this one I don't think stacks up to them, really, personally. It's not a bad map, and in isolation, it, it's enjoyable, but... I'm also comparing to the other maps we received this update, and um, yeah, it's not too great, really. So yeah, fortunately I'm just going to have to give it a D tier, but it's not by any means a bad map. Yeah, D tier, I think. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours, two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers, few showers. I don't buy my just money dance, yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.